Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, I know some of you are like, oh my gosh, he is alive. Yeah, I've had a few people reach out and go, hey, what's going on? I haven't seen anything from you in a while. I've been working a lot of projects. You know, I gotta, gotta pay the bills, I work for a living, and just a lot of projects, been extremely busy, not getting a lot of sleep, and just getting a lot of other stuff done work-related. But I've got some huge news. Actually, I've got lots of news coming, but this is really big. This is the biggest of the whole year, and we'll be continually coming to you in little clippets or snippets or whatever you wanna call them. Don't forget, like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate the sharing, huge. I'm gonna do some future videos, and one of the future videos, I wanna kinda of give you a little hint or some information. I'm gonna be looking for you, the viewer, subscribers, to give me your knowledge and share your knowledge. If I talk about something you know a lot about, like stainless steel, definitely give me what your recommendations are and why. Definitely why, I need some justification. Some of that stuff costs a lot of money. Um, just tips, things that you would do, not do, either from experience or just overall knowledge. I'm building a brewing area, but even bigger, we're having a house built. Yes, a house built. I've mentioned it a couple times in the past, we're having a house built. And with that, I have a 480 square foot garage that's going to be primarily a YouTube studio slash brewing area slash mini pub slash 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 slash. You know, it is the way it is. Might have a little bit of workout equipment, things like that, but hey, it's gonna have a lot of things going on. So let's jump right into this. Yep, it's a slab, a slab of concrete. Oh, there's another slab. Yeah, I know you're thinking, this isn't very exciting. How about this? It's a house. It's not done, of course, they're still building it, but it's a start. So let's go around to the garage so we can actually see the future Bitter Reality Brewing location. And let's come around to the garage. And yes, there's a the garage opening, no door yet. And no, no cars, that's not for cars. That's for me to get large brewing equipment in and out easily. And now we're gonna look outside of the garage and yeah, that's the area behind the garage. It's an alleyway. Let's jump on into the brewing area. First, the floor drain with sloping concrete floors. I know it's not as sloping as you can see in on a video, but in real life, it's quite dramatic, the slope. I had already planned on possibly doing something like that, but I mentioned it to Brian at Short Circuit Brewing and he's like, number one thing, get a floor drain, get a floor drain. And so I made sure I asked and I got a floor drain. It's actually probably the cheapest upgrade on the whole house, which is a good thing. <laughs> Um, but we're gonna go over here and we're gonna start from left and work our way around the garage. So over here in the left, this corner will be for my current fermenter, which is about four plus feet by four plus feet by about three feet tall with a dorm fridge slash freezer on the back. It works great for ales, it just does. It doesn't work well for loggers, but it works great for ales. It'll fit perfectly there, which is one of the reasons I had the garage door kind of centered to give me that little corner nook so I could have some space to put something like that. I am debating and possibly in the future we'll build a little walk-in fermenter. That would be awesome. I just, not 100% sure on it yet, but that would be awesome. I could do a lot with that, not just in beer, but vegetables, hot sauces, all kinds of fermentation things going on. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over here a little bit to the right. There's the window. Yeah, it's called code. It required a window, it required two windows. Somehow I ended up with three, but it's all good. So there, <laughs> there's a window. Um, in this area, it's going to be more for, you know, stocking my shelves, keeping equipment, things like that, having some little natural bit of light coming in if possible. And maybe even the AC unit will be up in this area somewhere because it'll be one of those split AC systems. So let's keep going over to the right. Now, this is going to be where, as you can see, there's an actual drain in the wall and there's two water pieces coming in for hot and cold. This corner area is where I'm looking to have a stainless steel 16 gauge sink. It's gonna have two shelves and a pretty decent sized basin. Now the basin is, you know, the clean brewing equipment, but I'll figure I put dirty stuff on one side, clean on the other. It's all kind of sloped, so it drains. I'm also looking to put an RO system and also a hose, which will probably go under the sink. And that way I have them up and out of the way, but if I need them, they're available, they're there, it's all good. I'm tired of buying distilled water. I'd rather produce my own. RO water, close enough, it'll work. So that's what I'm looking for that space. And I'm really excited to, not to mention if I splash, it's gonna be on the ground, it'll go down the drain. Like I said, it's all good. I could literally with that lip, and you'll see that concrete lip in a lot of these photos, 
it goes all the way around to keep the living space above where the garage area is. This is a requirement or a code requirement, but I like it because I could literally hose the whole floor down. And as long as I'm not going nuts and spraying the walls, I won't do any damage and all the water will go right down the drain and everything can be nice and clean and squeegeed and all good. The next part, as we move a little more to the right, this is where I'm gonna have two 240 volt plugs with 30 amp breakers. So I could literally run, I could run four anvils or two anvils and two firmzillas or other brewing equipment in parallel. So we could do tests and experiments side by side at the exact same time. That's awesome. Opposite of that, I will look to do like a stainless steel table. I'm looking at 18 gauge, five foot, but you know, 16, do I really need 16 gauge? It's hundred dollars more. I'm thinking, you know, it's quite a bit more cause it's about 33% more in price but just something to think about. That's just gonna be a great location. You got a little window off to the right, but as we turn and we see the other, that's the door, so I can get to the house and the window. This area under the stairs, the builder's gonna cut that out and let me put in my keyser there. And I can put a keyser or a future kegerator or anything I want will fit in that spot easily. And I'll have a plug already on that side of the wall, so it'll just work out really, really well, but it's a nice nook. And then as we continue, we look over here to the stairs. Next to the stairs, this is gonna be where I'm gonna put a table or two and some chairs so people can relax. I can relax, have a beer, just sit there, chill out for a minute. Just a nice cozy area to just kind of get comfortable and chill. So that's pretty much it for now. I know it's not like, oh wow, there's a whole brewery in here. No, no, it's still being built. It's gonna take a while. Probably won't be done until sometimes, sometime close to the end of the year but I am excited, I'm very excited. It's gonna give me my own space. My wife's excited because I won't be in the house anymore and I won't have to go up and down stairs. I mean, some days when I brew, I know this is gonna sound insane, but I do between 16,000 and just under 22,000 steps and as many as 82 flights. Yeah, that's 164 sets of 16 to 18 steps going up and down the stairs. It's insane living in a two story or a three story, two bedroom place. So I'll be excited to stay, grab my equipment, move here, move here. I'll do a lot of twisting. That'll be about it. Let me know what you think. Um, like I said, I'll do a video just on the equipment as I start to get ready to order equipment and you can tell me what I should or shouldn't order. Uh, maybe we'll even pop some of those bits of equipment I'm looking to purchase up on the screen so you can see them and go, hey, you know, that looks great, but you might want to consider this or, hey, I did that, but this worked better or I wish I didn't do that. Just looking for some insight from all the users and I just wanted to share what's been going on. Also have quite a bit of hops coming this year, so I guess we're going to do lots of IPAs and lots of hoppy beers, but we'll get there. We're not going to do only hoppy beers. We'll do a little bit of everything. Thank you again for joining us at Bitter Reality Brewing. Don't forget to like, subscribe, keep sharing. Definitely appreciate it. Looking forward to the comments, insight, any information, what you think. Thank you. Cheers.